A simple 200 kilometer long drive normally takes a couple of hours. In South Sudan, it takes 10. That's how long our team of peacekeepers working with the United Nations mission in South Sudan traveled to reach Tali from the capital, Juba. The long and narrow roads, devastated by war and weather, are the main supply route connecting the capital with other parts of the country. As trucks and traders navigate their way to deliver goods, these roads are an economic lifeline for the people of South Sudan. After passing through pockets of villages, changing vegetation and stretches of road with no sign of human life, our team, made up of blue helmets and civilian staff, finally reached the remote village. We have traveled to Tali to support the interstate pre-migration conference organized by the Civil Affairs Division of ANMIS. At this conference, governors from five neighboring regions will hand over authority to the newly formed Joint Border Peace Committee to oversee cattle migration patterns and to settle disputes related to the movement of cattle across the region. Farmers like Gabriel Kiridong are confident that the committee will help bring back peace to the pastoral communities. The local joint border court will help us solve problems when the animals destroy the crops of farmers. They can help us agree on compensation so that we do not fight. In South Sudan, cows, which are estimated to outnumber the total population, are a form of status and currency. Gabriel was eager to show us his prized herd. So the following day, at the crack of dawn, we set off to see his cattle crawl. Because of the dangers associated with cattle keeping, we are accompanied by peacekeepers from the Chinese battalion. When we arrive, the cars have already gone into the bush. we find the long-horned beast grazing nearby. These cows are very important to me. I can sell one cow and pay school fees for my children. Vital as they are, livestock has been the source of fighting for control over grazing land and water, as well as violent clashes between cattle raiders from rival tribes. When we migrate with our cows, we cannot follow them everywhere. So sometimes they wander off into someone's field and eat the crops. If the farmer has a gun, they can shoot and kill our cows. The youth are also forming groups and raiding our cattle camps. Before we could proceed further into the bush, we are reminded of the dangers surrounding cattle keeping. A lone gunshot is heard nearby. No, we just go back. You can always there. It's, it's not safe. We are forced to leave. Modern weapons trickling into the hands of cattle keepers are resulting in bloodier and deadlier clashes, the situation made worse by the ongoing civil war. Local authorities say that they're in the process of disarming civilians. If the gun is become our cancer, it's our conflict, we have to move. The gun out from our citizens, so that our citizens will go back and resume their usual life. As the conference comes to an end and UN peacekeepers return to Juba, we leave behind a sense of hope that these people will give up their arms and that durable peace will prevail.